my first grade. Today we're going to start making a turf house. A turf house is found in the country of Iceland. Now, Iceland is very cold and they have a harsh climate. So, when they made houses, they didn't have a lot of wood. So they used a lot of stone and some wood, but then they used the turf or the grass to help insulate their houses and they even had they even have grass on their roof. So we're going to make a turf house and we won't make the whole thing this time. So we'll do part of it this time and part of it the next time. So you will need white paper to start. Now I have my paper up and down the tall way. So the first thing I'm going to do and I'm actually going to use colored pencil for this, but you can use crayon. I used crayon for the first one I made. The first thing you want to do is draw a square in like the middle of your paper. And then you want to add a triangle for the roof. And then I'm going to do a bigger triangle on top, like that. And then I'm going to color this part in. Now I'm using brown, but you can use any color you like. All right, so the next thing I'm going to make is the, the door. So it's going to be a rectangle, but don't color it in. Don't do anything to it yet. Then to make the top of the door, I'm going to make a line that way and the line that way. Then I'm going to join them. Looks like a trapezoid now. And we're going to make another line through the middle of that. And then I'm going to color that part in. Okay, now we're going to do some windows. So I'll start up here with the window at the top. Now I'm going to draw, so it kind of looks like a picture frame. And then I'm going to put lines. And then I'm going to color all that space in. Okay, and now I'm going to do two more windows down here. do the same exact thing. But I'm going to add one extra piece at the top. It's going to stick out a little bit, come over. So it's like a long rectangle on top. All right, 
and then I'm going to color those in. can pause the video at any time if you need to catch up. Okay, now I'm going to use black. I'm going to change my color and use black to make the wood slats on the front of the house. So I'm going to start in the very middle and I'm going to draw a line down, jump over the window, down to the door. And then I'm going to do the same thing again over here. I'm going to leave a little space, jump over the window, down to the door. And I'm going to keep doing that until I'm all the way done with one side. Now, these two lines, I had to skip over the door frame a little bit with this one. Now I have to skip this window and this one's going to come all the way down also. And make sure you're holding your paper like I am. It's easier to draw a straight line when you pull towards you. And one more. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay. All right, now we're going to make a walkway and a stone wall. So I'm going to draw some stones. Now stones come in lots of shape. Lots of different shapes. So you want to draw it just so it's kind of staying in a straight line. And then I'll do the same thing. I'm actually going to draw a flat top and a flat bottom to this wall before I draw the stones. And then I'm just going to do the same thing and the same thing over here. And then I'm going to just color them lightly with my black. Thank you. 
Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to color in the walls. Just using my black lately. You could use gray, you can use brown. Whatever color you like. And so after we color our wall, the last thing we're going to do today is add something in the doorway. So I have a person waving. I'll show it to you in a second. In my doorway. But you could also do a, a dog or a cat if you want instead of a person. So I think this time I'm going to do a cat. So I have a black cat at home. So I think I'll just do my black cat. Cover him in carefully. Now remember, you can do a person or a dog. Now I'm going to draw a line back here to make it look like the cat is standing on some carpet. So I'm going to choose blue and I'm going to color the carpet. And then I'm even going to put a picture frame on the wall. And I will put the word welcome in the picture frame. W-E-L-C-O-M-E. -E. Okay, and that's all we're going to do for this week. Next week, we will work on finishing our picture. So I will see you then.